All my life I have been looking forward and the dairy industry wanting to do better. Even to this day, it's always what's next on the ladder. Where do we go next? So here at Coupon Cars, we are situated in southwest Scotland. We nestle between the, the River Cree on the Solway Estuary and the hills on the left is the Cairnsmore, Cairnsmore Fleet. Soil type down here is heavy clay, so it's absolutely ideal for growing grass and uh, we can grow winter wheat for whole crop. So all the, the raw ingredients for TMR and keeping cows on the robot system. The farm itself is uh, 265 hectares and we're running 450 cows, all Holsteins and with seven A5 Lely robots. We started with the robots in June and September 2020. So back in 89, when I arrived here at Coupon Cars, we were milking 130 pure Holsteins through a 1616 Hernbone and in 2000 we expanded to 300 cows when we built a new setup and installed an internal rotary. That uh, was 20 years old through three times a day milking. It had done over 90,000 hours when we finished with it in 2020. And we were looking forward to the future. How do we progress and be forward thinking within the dairy industry? To us, robots was the way forward. So on uh, milk production, we're uh, currently doing 40.4 kilos of energy corrected milk. So moving from the milking parlor to the, the robots, we've actually increased milk by eight kilos. What have we actually found in that time is that we have not lost components and fertility we've managed to maintain. For the last 10, 12 years, we have bread for cows for health and fertility and production. We really put a lot of energy into uh, maintaining fertility. We run a preg rate of 30%. At the start of this journey, that was one of our focuses is to maintain that preg rate. You know, get extra milk, but also look after the health of the cows. We are really pleased with how it has all come together six months down the line after starting with the robots. We wanted to look forward to the future and overcome some of the challenges that we had in the past. Cows going and standing in a collecting area waiting to be milked for an hour, an hour and a half, being moved around, not when they want, but when we want. This was probably one of the biggest challenges, was just a lot of dead time for the cow. So by moving forward the way we have done, we allow the cows to get milk when they want, which I think has got huge implications in the production levels that we have achieved in the last six months. Here at Coupon Cars, efficiency is the big number one driver. We want to have real good cows, but we also want productive cows and we have to have a profitable business. Going forward, feed costs are going up, labour costs are going up. The only thing that probably has stayed static in the last 10 years is milk price. We have to keep looking at new ideas, new technology to stay profitable in this business. So going between the, the old system and the, the robots, we've actually reduced labours by three units. What it has meant is we keep a hold of our key people who have got skills that can move the farm forward. We've got a much closer team working together now. After being on the robots for six months, it's unbelievable how content the whole shed is. The cows are either eating or laying down or being milked. There's none of this dead time standing, waiting, getting moved around. So we create a much better environment for the cow. Going on to the robots, what we have found is it takes us back to individual cow attention. Now we are more focused. We're in beside the cows every day. When we see something that's not quite right, we deal with it straight away. And with the software that's there, the alarm bells are ringing before we can even see things happening. The individual attention to detail is much greater on this system. We wanted to really look at how we go about milking cows. And on the rotary, it was cows in, clean, attach, and not any real time spent on stimulating the, the milk let down. Moving on to the robots, we could clearly see that there's more time stimulating cows, 
get the cow prepared for the uh, attachment and the individual cup removal as each quarter is finished in my eyes was only a, a huge step forward from where we were on the rotary. I just can't believe it myself how much extra these cows can produce and not losing any components and maintaining fertility. With all that uh, breeding in the last 15 years, improving cow comfort in the shed, we never really got the big step in milk production that I thought we could have had. And it wasn't until we installed the robots that we got the, the increase. With the robots, for sure, it has unlocked that last building block for us. Basically, we give the cows the freedom to go and get milk when they want not when we want to take them to get milk. So when she gets up, she wants to go and get milk, she goes and gets milk, so. And to me, that is much better for the cow itself.